All right, in this lesson, we'll explore the P method, which offers us yet another way to output something uh, to the screen or to the terminal. And the advantage of the P method is that it offers a more literal output than either the puts or the print method. Uh, the P method allows us to see additional details about the thing that we are printing. So let's take a look at an example and a comparison. I can begin with a simple put statement like puts Steven Seagal. And when I output this on the right, we can see that that string appears in my Atom Runner output. Right below, I'm going to simply write P and then repeat the Steven Seagal string. Now let's see what happens when I execute this. On the right, we see that Steven Seagal appears as well, but this time it's surrounded on both sides by the, by the double quotes. And this is immediately a visual indicator to us in our output that this is in fact a string. Now this may not be the best example, but the advantage of P, and not just when it comes to strings but many other Ruby objects, is that it offers us that additional clarity about how something operates. In this case, we have an immediate visual indicator that, that this thing is a string, and when it comes to other objects, the P method for output will offer us a better indicator of what those objects are and how they operate. Let's take a look at another example of how P can be particularly helpful. I'm going to write puts again just to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. And I'm going to write hi there, this is A, and at this point I'm going to do something new. I'm going to create a line break in my puts, so I'm just gonna press the enter key, and I'm going to write hi there, this is a big line break. Now when I execute this, we'll see that that is going to be interpreted uh, literally in the sense that we're going to see that line break appear right here after the A, and then we're going to conclude here with the big line break. So Ruby has taken this component, this line break, and that's exactly how it's outputted to our uh, Atom Runner output. Let's compare that to the exact same thing with the P method. If I write P, hi there, this is a big line break, and I'm also going to add that actual line break in between. When I execute this, we're going to see something different. First of all, just like in the first example, we'll see that this time there's going to be those double quotes around the string, which tells us that it is in fact a string. But now, instead of having a literal line break, you know, a visual line break, we're going to have this symbol appear in the middle, this slash n. And this is basically the programming symbol in Ruby for a line break or a new line. So what this is telling us is at that point visually is where it would have inserted a line break, but this is offering us a more literal output. So it's offering us a more descriptive, if you will, uh, output. So now that we can see that instead of just seeing something visually, which, which, which isn't always the best thing, we have a more programmatic way of, of seeing how this operates. In this case, the slash n tells us that there would be a line break there. It's the exact same idea as how we saw with the regular string example. We see a string like Steven Seagal, but with those extra quotes around it, we have more of an understanding of exactly how it operates and that it is a string, much like the slash n is kind of a indicator that there should be a line break there, but it's not simply a visual one, it's more of a descriptive one, it's a programmatic way of, of describing it to us. I know that these examples probably haven't given the perfect overview of what P can offer us, but we'll, we'll certainly see more complex examples as we move through the course. For now, just realize that P basically offers the same output as puts or print. It does operate more similarly to puts because it does add a line break to the end of the output, but it also provides us additional details about the thing that we are outputting to the uh, console or the terminal, if you will. Now with certain things, we're not gonna see any difference. For example, if we do something like puts five versus P five, you can see that both of those are going to appear simply as numbers. There's no visual difference between them. But in certain things like strings, and later when we get to something like arrays or hashes in Ruby, which are other objects, we'll see that the P uh, way of outputting can offer us certain advantages in understanding what it is that we're dealing with. So this is a quick introduction to the P method. Throughout the course, I'll be using a combination of puts and print and P, so we'll have plenty of time to practice with all of them. But that's a quick introduction on how we output something to our output, in this case, the Atom Runner. And in the next lesson, we'll continue on with the basics of Ruby and dive into how to perform basic arithmetic operations with Ruby. So I'll see you there.